I'm um, feeling pretty good. Uh, it's been two weeks roughly since I had surgery and I've stayed low for those two weeks. I've got another four weeks of in a back brace doing nothing and then I'll start to gradually build up um, running and jogging. Last year playing against Port Adelaide I had a little bit of bone stress um, through that game and I missed a couple of games and then played for the rest of the year. Had my off season, came back, had a pretty strong start to the pre-season. I, I hadn't been fitter uh, and got to when the balls came out, when we came back in December and I went for a, a set shot and I felt my right side just, I don't know, it was, a, it was a weird feeling. It was a sharp pain, like someone stabbing me in the back. Um, and we had a scan and it showed more bone stress. So we had a little bit of downtime over the Christmas break. Um, came back January, started running again. I felt okay. And then the balls came out, I started kicking again and the same thing, I just had a little bit more discomfort in that right side. Um, and then we got another scan and this time it was a CT scan so we had a look at the bone and it showed a crack um, in my right side which is what was clarified as a pars defect. Pars defect from what I understand it's, it's very individual and my posture comes into it, my, my genes come into it, um, so all those things come into play and I don't think it comes down to one specific moment, I think it's a little build up. Um, and I think it was always going to happen. It was just a moment of time. I had a lot of opinions and I, I searched around a little bit um, to see what other blokes have gone through with um, pendles and bucks. Um, and initially it was rest uh, that would um, let it heal and that's what I did. But in the end, every pars defect from what I know is individual. I think for the next four weeks, it's just letting that bone take its course. Um, I can still walk, stuff like that. Stay out, stay out of those risky positions like the extension, flexion and rotation um, as much as possible, not lift heavy things. And then at that six week mark, I can gradually build up, I'll start jogging. Um, and then at the 12 week mark, that's when I'm meant to be all clear to play. So six to 12 weeks, that's when I'm meant to um, get all my load in. I'm not gonna throw the season out of the window. Obviously, it's been tough the last, last few months with what I've gone through and um, I've lost a lot of fitness and conditioning, so I'm gonna to have to get that back. And whether I can get that back in six weeks without having any pain, um, or do we go um, conservative and let it heal a little bit longer just in case. So it's a hard one, and that's what we'll have to take probably a couple of weeks at a time, um, get a couple of scans and see where it's at. But I'm not gonna say that I can't play footy um, at the end of this year because I know it's a possibility.